Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Persona 3 Reload. Today, we... I guess we're cooking with Ken? I think I said we were gonna do that last time. Really nothing much else for us to do. Alright, Ken. Oh right, you made the bad coffee. Sure. different beans today I went to a coffee shop and bought some real ones this time what do you mean I real sure ones them in the fridge and I only ground them right before brewing I also learned you need to be mindful of how hot the water is as well as how you pour it question I thought you shouldn't refrigerate coffee beans should you refrigerate coffee beans or grounds even uh, coffee can never go bad at all coffee should be kept in the fridge for you to oh okay okay yeah uh, the fridge is not the place to store coffee in any form okay never fucking mind I don't know Jesus <laughs> okay one's like oh yeah totally keep it in the fridge uh, or freezer uh, others yeah never Based on the videos I have seen, there's no difference in storing your beans. Okay, cool. I'll take your comment from two years ago with four upvotes as fact. What could go wrong with that? Uh, you did a great job, probably. Yes, I practiced with the cheaper beans from before since I can't afford too many of the expensive ones. Although it was hard to drink all that coffee, so I added a lot of milk. You're gonna give sugar. yourself a heart attack. <laughs> You're gonna give yourself diabetes. That's you can't really Cheers. do it that way. But anyway, <laughs> mm, still really bitter, so bitter. But it's not only that. I could actually taste some of the sweetness and richness this time. The beans and brewing technique can make a huge difference, huh? I guess I don't know. I brew it like I'm two different ways, three different ways actually. actually. Normal coffee cup. I, I, I don't really do it that often anymore. I use the K-cup machine with reusable K-cups or the disposable, like the decompostable uh, ones. Uh, or I just fucking cold brew it. Because mm, 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 cold brew. Thanks for joining me. You can go on ahead. I'm going to practice a little more to try and get the hang of this. Let's make some more if we ever get the chance. Never. Actually, I think one more and you get a skill. Uh, uh, first, I gotta use the bathroom. I drank a lot while I was practicing today. Yeah, it's gonna make you poop your pants. What day is it? Sorry to wake you. Yeah? Um, I I'm not sure how to say this. But you need to go to the fourth floor, and please hurry! Okay, for something I thought I said it was gonna be like a week before the full moon. But no, we got ten days. What's going on? Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Strega. <sighs> They're still alive. That's why you double tap. Or eat the bodies. Bastards! The dark hour doesn't go away, and now Strega's back. What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? Oh, uh, okay. There's only one of them, but I thought she was in the hospital. No, no, she's not in the hospital. Huh? No, she's she's inside. Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Hello. Can you do that? Chidori. She hijacked the transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. You kind of sound like you're trying to do like a Wednesday Adam impression from like the old school Yamagishi. movies. Okay. No reason to freak out like that. Junpei, come back! 
Uh, we have to go after him. This is almost certainly a trap. Oh yeah. But it's Strago we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. I mean, we and could. If we confront them, we might gain some insight on. Junpei might die, but we could. Please be careful. You're coming with us, Fuka. I sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. I'm choosing we'll whoever is the highest level. Ready. Junpei's not one of those, right? Fuck! He was one of those. <laughs> uh, shit, Junpei, you dick. Uh, hey, Yukari, are you weak to... No, okay, good. Who's weak to fire? It's Mitsuru, right? Yeah, okay, we're not using you. I guess we're using... The dog? Probably not, actually, because of the light. Uh, I guess... Sure, I don't think she uses lightning. Spoilers. Um, we're good with weapons. No, we're not. Good lord. Maybe we should use the dog. Fuku, you don't need armor. Stop saying you do. Unless it's armor that, like, increases your uh, SP. Do we have that? <laughs> we might have that. Okay, wristbands. What what new thing do we have? Oh, sacrificial idol. Neat. All right. Hello. Yeah. Pick off like that. Yeah. Well. Right. You guys just want to join. Hi. Should I save? It's been seven minutes. Why not? Hello. Sure. Shidori, what's going on? Talk to me. <sighs> Doing this doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I'm not that smart. True. And I've done a lot of stupid things. Doubly true. But this, this is wrong. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Jinpei-kun, look out! Oh! Oh, you have an axe. That was close. You could have killed someone there. She's like, that's the plan. Sorry. Why? Get back, Junpei. Talking won't solve anything now. It's too dangerous. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. But please, just back up. Medea. All righty. You want to join the party? This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Shinori! What the hell's gotten into you? Peer pressure. Get ready. Alright, that's fine. Good thing I didn't take anyone weak to fire, right? System failure. Ow! Huh? Well, what the fuck was that? Yukari, you're gonna need to heal our asses though, cause good good. Hmm. That's not that much healing in Agus. Uh sure. Probably could reduce her shit. Hey, do you have any debuffs? You do, I, you have buffs, which is nice. I would like to lower the defense. Takaya was right. Just a nuisance. Oh, you're one to talk. Please on me. Oh, it's on everyone. That's bullshit. Motherfucker. Can I stand on this enemy? Yeah, please. I see. So this is what we're up against. Uh, I'm sorry, but did you like have to do that? Is he confused? That's fine. Please crit. Yeah, you did not crit. Don't mind if I do. I am going to drown you in the toilet this back at the fucking dorm. It's nothing compared to the suffering I'm feeling inside. Oh, write about it on your fucking live live journal. I don't feel 
Well, that's rude. Uh, well... Hey, where'd my, my Thurgy thing go? This should help. Oh, hey! Thanks. I mean... Why? Why won't you leave me alone? You called us here! He can read you like a book. Critical rate reverted my ass! You gonna revive them, Gronus? Uh, yeah, when Fuckface gets unconfused. Which apparently never gonna happen. Better use this. You're lucky I'm rich, but I'm still gonna fucking kill you. I can't breathe. I'm scared. Okay, so it was scripted? Good. Can I get a full heal? Chidori. I told you. Don't touch me. Chidori, please. Tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is attachment. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. Yeah. My possessions. My life, everything. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei, you brought me pain I never wanted. Good job, Junpei. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori. What is it? It's the others from Straka. Are you just hanging out by the door in there? How did they? Bastards. You just don't know when to give up. <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! No <laughs> ghost. <laughs> I don't. I, don't, I think he meant you were just pale. Me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was chosen. No, we just didn't double tap. Bastard! That's it. I'm not letting you do this to her anymore. Protect Chidori with my life! Junpei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Hmm. Junpei, look out! <laughs> I mean, you tanked that pretty good. Would he hit him? Oh, hello. Huh? I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? This is new, uh, right? I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I I realized what I wanted. And what's that? A PlayStation 5. I want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I um <laughs> Okay, so Junpei's dreaming. I, I want to be with you too. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. 
That's why... This is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? Die? What? Oh, your persona looks pretty badass. So are the others just standing there letting this happen, or do they leave? Just cuts a cane eating them. What the hell? Junpei-kun! Junpei! It's her persona. Does it have the power to bestow life? Well, healing. I don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But Near wait, death. If she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh! <laughs> Chidori! <sighs> so it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. But da, but da. That's all I needed to know. Now I can go on living in you. So wait, are they actually just standing there watching this? Be with you. Very kind of them, I guess. Hey, Chidori. Stay with me. What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Junpei. Same. I've got your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. <laughs> this might be all I ever needed. Just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! She's like, get out of here. <laughs> it's like the first thing she said to him, right? He's like, what do you want? Leave me alone. <laughs> this is a lot. This is, I think this is, I feel like this is a lot better than the original. I don't, I don't think I remember the original all that much. Like the scene. So you guys were there. Do you only have one bullet in that gun at a time? That's. Exceedingly kind of you to not unload the other, what, five bullets? Is that a f six chamber gun? Whatever. This is very kind of you not to just keep opening fire. Meaningless. It's anime, Kronos. I know, but still. That was a really good scene, though. Hello. Uh, Jupiter's heart has awakened to a new persona, aka he absorbed Chidori's persona. Hermes has become one with Chidori's persona, uh, Medea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. They, they gave prize to no po a new power, Trismegistus. Isn't one of them strong against fire? Nope, oh, nope. <laughs> you won't get away with that! Jupiter! My, that was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. I'm surprised I haven't just started blasting you guys yet. Don't, don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on them. Hmm. 
I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. Bullshit! But since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. Trusted you with this life. Don't just throw it away. Maybe we should check to see if she's still breathing, though. Chidori. Chidori. I. I. Oh God, this is so hard. But it's not just my life anymore. Junpei. Did anyone check her pulse? Everyone was silent as we walked back to the dorm. No one could find the right words to say to Junpei. I'll take that that she didn't have a pulse then. Which means shit. Thanksgiving, huh? Oh, interesting. I have no one to hang out with. <laughs> okay. Wait, it's thanks. Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind. Uh, hello? How's you feel? I don't know, I haven't talked to him. Um. <sighs> and Elizabeth still has not called us. Uh. Alright, well, uh, do you think we'll be okay eventually? Sure. Yeah. It's Excuse me. Generally speaking, you will always be okay eventually. It might take long, like a long, long time to do it, but you'll be fine one day. Um, shit. Okay, well. I guess that answers my question on if I fucked it up or not. Alright. Well, then I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> And be like, yeah, well, I didn't fuck up. The game fucked up. Yeah, it's not me. I got nothing to do. Well, that's new. I didn't even, like, focus people outside the goddamn, uh... Did I get one of these already? I think I got one of these already. Yeah, I didn't even focus people outside of the place. 100 SP, Ken! You mad lad. Uh, let's see. No. Okay. Oh, I did. I did. Okay. Someone might be pleased. I don't know who. Not me. Uh, alright, cool. Um, what we got going on in the arcade? Strength? Go for it, dog. I play the fighting game, and apparently it raised Siegfried's strength. I don't know why. Oh, Hi, Jupe's still in his room. Oh, I should probably go check on him, huh? I didn't know he was in his room. Uh, yeah, okay, well... No one's been kidnapped yet. I probably should look up to see when people get kidnapped. Uh, and we don't have anything to work on the shared computer. Oh shit, man. I guess I could go back to the arcade. I could go work. I could also go look up to see when people get kidnapped. I'm assuming it's coming, but like, there's always a chance that no, it's not. I think I did. I already look it up. I just forgot. I don't know. I feel like I, I think I said I was gonna look it up and I just didn't. Looks like I'm getting more strength. Also, apparently it's the 28th. So, and only two people being kidnapped this month. I know, I know, I'm cheating. But at the same time, I was getting a little worried. I don't know why I was getting worried. We still have fucking, like, over a week left until the full moon. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Rare Experience Day... 
will take place over the next four days. Wait, does that mean I don't have a day? Like, ever? Oh, you dicks. Good morning. Hi. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. Can I have work we'll here or is that somewhere uniforms. else? Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. Are you me? Can I just be an assistant teacher or something? I'm looking pretty snazzy in that outfit. I want the duck one though. I worked hard to get used to the job. When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? I don't want to date you. Oh, you meant like the trash. Okay, sorry about that. Thoughts? For some reason, Tomochika is in front of the restaurant. Oh, hey. Uh, morning. What are you doing? You look good in that uniform. I forgot you chose this place too. I chose this place? What are you doing here? Well, you know, just psyching myself up to prepare for the internship. I mean, being on time is like the bare minimum job requirement, right? Yeah, and you're Some late. Prospects are looking pretty grim. I overslept like hell. Uh... Well, I got a oh, cardboard damn. box you can borrow. I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. He does a lot of squats, huh? I really don't want to go in now. What do I do? Now let's go together. I'll hold your hand. You'll come apologize with me? Oh god, no. You're but I'll best, drag you man. inside. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. I don't know. Tell them you yeah. rushed into a you burning just orphanage to save everyone with your children. That's usually my go to. Stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good, and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh. Please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. Okay. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework. I so don't need please. your homework. Lying is wrong. Only if you don't pay me for it, though. Dude, for real? I owe you my life, man. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will. Uh oh, there you are, working hard. Or hardly working. Seriously, why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining to. Students. I'm used to you complaining to case, me. It looks like you two are doing just. Uh... One of us is doing just fine. Hey, Tomochika, why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Did we not do a head count when we got Are here? Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez. First someone skipping out, and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. <laughs> Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Don't you grin the person that's not here, friend. clearly. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... What? Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh, I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize right now. Wait, now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Oh, of course he is. That's what uh, he does. Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there or, and apologize. Or they'd be like, don't worry about it. And then they would start looking for your replacement and then fire you when a replacement was actually hired. Uh, so you going in? You alright by yourself? You alright by yourself, Kenji? Not even in the slightest. Well, too bad. I'm the one who got myself into this. Yeah. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? 
it makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. He's about to be fired from his internship. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. You need to burn this place down? Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? Oh, uh... Why? <laughs> well, if you haven't heard anything, it's fine. But if he's playing hooky, there's gonna be hell to pay. Oh, he was the other person. <sighs> he has no idea how much trouble he's causing me. Tell him he'd better at least call out next time. Well, his pseudo-girlfriend just anyway, died. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. I mean, some people actually do legitimately love that stuff. Uh, Tomachigo wasn't chewed out too bad, but he worked the rest of the shift in silence. And my first day of internship concluded, I returned to the dorm. Yeah, I've worked retail. I haven't worked food service, though. Oh, okay. Uh, strip mall, wild duck burger. I think I'm starting to get the hang of the working here. Oh, there you are. Yeah, hi. Yeah, let's see. I've, uh, yeah, I've worked retail a couple different places. Um,. Factory work I've done, office work I've spent the majority of my work life doing. Um, I didn't I actually really. I actually kind of like the factory work. <laughs> Probably it was. It didn't pay as well as the office work. It, it like it paid a lot better than the retail work for sure. But you know the office work is where the money was at. But the the factory work, the warehouse work, and stuff like that. Uh, that stuff was easy well at least back in the day when i actually had some physical attributes that wasn't just pain uh so i don't know if i could do it these days but <laughs> yeah I, I don't know it was like one of those things like okay this, this isn't the best paying job but i come in i like put on music and then time flies by and then i'm done actually it wasn't usually music i usually listen to like youtube videos or let's plays but um but yeah, I just get in, do my stuff, go home, and it was easy. Uh, that was younger Kronos. Older Kronos would probably not last a week. <laughs> to say the least. Retail work sucks, like generally speaking, but it was easy hey. for the most part. Oh, you're looking pretty well, good. unless you had to deal with customers too often. For years. I usually, in the retail world, when I first started doing that, I, I definitely tried to get positions that were not customer facing, but unfortunately, they're always customer facing. Uh, I would have thought you'd been working here for How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to place an order. And then go up to the counter. Looks like you've got the routine down. Maybe they'll hire you full time. Looks like you're doing all right. Uh, what's up? Oh, it's nothing really. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. Cool. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? I see you chose this place too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so. So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? Our sworn enemy. I know, I'm pretty I'm doing pretty good myself. Oh. Now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion too, Tomochika kun. About what? Lay it on me. We got time. You sure about that? <laughs> yeah, you told me to take a break too. Oh, okay. Come on, this is our chance to chill. Don't even think about wiping tables. <laughs> you two get along pretty well. Yeah, Max Social Link. I'll go order something. You guys go ahead and find a seat. Hold on, the manager hooked me up with some nuggets. Let me go. Oh, chicken Not nuggies! Such a bad person once you get to know each other. Just kind of intimidating at first. I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice. You know your junk food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. Honestly, that's just what being a person is all about, generally speaking. Talk about something. <sighs> well, it's about June Baker. He's very upset. Yori, are you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up until today. That is, 
I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Yeah. Uh, he got a girlfriend, and then she died in his arms. Uh, you should ask him. Not my place. Yeah, I guess I should have, but I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. It felt like he was suppressing an unbearable sadness. Like he was forcing himself to act normal. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. <laughs> what are we even supposed to do about this guy? Yeah, I'm better. Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Yeah, death that has that effect surprising. on people, so shockingly. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. Fuck, I'm actually generally good at handling death compared to, like, a lot of people that I know. But even I get upset about it. Like, it's just natural. Yeah. Well, I should say... <sighs> Surprise well, death do, I don't handle as well time. as like I'll let him know you were worried about him. Yeah, so like if I know someone is sick or old, I, I definitely have talked about this before. Like, if I know their death is coming, like I I process that really well compared to like some other people. Like, it's sad of course, but if I know it's coming, my I'm like my brain kinda like slowly I guess just like filters out the sadness for, for the longest time until it happens and it's like, yeah, I knew this was happening. This sucks, but clearly this this was the end result from their illness. It's horrible, but like, I get it. Shocking deaths like drunk driver accidents or other things. Um, no, I, I don't. That that was just like that will fucking. Even if I didn't know the person like completely as well, like they were just like maybe, a, you know, a friend, but like not someone I really talked to all that often. There's something happened like that is like, yeah, I'm like, holy fuck, what? Like, fuck. Then then I get like more like really upset about it. Um, this does not uh, translate to pets. I am always devastated when a pet dies unconsolably fucking depressed and sad when a pet dies. It sucks every time. Every fucking time. And god fucking Casey's getting so old. <sighs> Thanks, Tomochika kun. Oh crap the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box. Sure. Just I love cold burgers, not cold fries. That's probably right. Actually, I'm cold sure food in general, minus a few exceptions like fries, I'm totally into. You You're his best friend, right? Am I? I, I guess so. Uh, he got you too, though. Yeah. I'll do whatever I can to help. I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before, but what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Seeing Junbei Kun like that had me worried about you as well. Why? I guess you're doing just fine. It's just, <sighs> I don't like it. Seeing you, seeing my friends in pain. Yeah, it's Sorry, not good. I didn't mean to drag this on so long. But you See do you what you can to help him. Good luck on the rest of your shift. It's not always gonna work, obviously. Some things just take a lot of time. With four days of internship done, I headed back to the dorm. Hey, my stuff. What did I order? Oh, gems. Okay, that's truly outrageous. Hey, Ken. Still not feeling well? I mean, dude, yeah. I've always been through, I can understand why he's feeling down. He got really lucky this week, though. No one realized he took some days off. Uh, people actually totally realized he took days off. I'm gonna defeat the straight guys. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I feel like, uh, oh, crops are done. Cool. I honestly feel like Junpei, uh, 
had a harder time with this than like Mitsuru did with her dad. Uh, more spinach, please. Thank you. Um, who do we got? Played with Koromaru, I guess. Sure, I like I like that. Let's go play with Koromaru. Um, this is we haven't really done this one, right? Oh, the brush. Yeah, so we did this once before. It's starting to look really soft and shiny. Don't stop. Uh, let's make it even shinier. Nora's gotten even more comfortable. Good for him. What'd you give me? Bomb of life, Corbar, you're a good boy! Good thing I didn't use any of those in that last fight. I was waiting for fucking... Akihiko, I forgot his name for a second. To, uh, pop in out of confusion and do it. Oh shit, Elizabeth, right, it's 20, 28th, got it. Good morning, Hi. this is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Neat. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Bye bye. All right. Um. Yuko Mitsuru. Linked episode. Link episode? Um, who? If it's Mitsuru, that's cool too, I guess. Wait, is it. Went back to the dorm. No one did the linked episode right now? That seems odd. Also, where the fuck is it? Am I reading that wrong? Oh, what's down here? Oh, the juice lady! Hi. That was not a linked episode. Want some? Yes. Thank you. All right, so hey, you know what? We can go to uh, here now and hand this in. There you go. Thank you for the Twilight Fragment. Also, apparently, I guess we're gonna be hanging out with Mitsuru. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. That's warm. That uh, it's grainy. Ugh, grainy mouthfeel. You have my thanks. Ew. <laughs> that sounds fucking awful, actually. Uh, right. I guess well. we'll go hang out with Mitsuru. Good day. Oh, you want to? You know what? We'll go hang out with fucking Liz then. I've been waiting for you. Yeah. So, this is your current domicile, the student dormitory. Mm-hmm. So this is your room. I've never seen many of these items before. Really? I didn't really stock up on anything. Hmm. If I might be permitted to ask, when I made the request to visit your room, did it make you a little suspicious? Uh, not really. A little bit? Not really. Kind of assumed you were going to want to come here at some point. Um, hmm. Not really. I see. In truth, there is something I wanted to tell you. During my forays into your world, I encountered a great many things. 
Every single one of our outings is a treasured memory. Each one a polished, glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine. Yeah, I remember that. The eight the courses. Sun, even visiting your school for a day. And I came to a realization. I'm hot stuff. I had been subconsciously requesting to visit locations that were more and more central to your life. And today, I endeavored to visit the one place in your world where I could learn the most about you. That is the reason as to why I requested to visit your room. I mean, there's really not much to me in this room. I may be so bold. Or maybe dead skin cells. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? There was a moment where I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. Oh, I remember. I don't remember. <laughs> it was the first time I'd ever felt that way. I thought to myself, why did I feel so fulfilled? But after coming all the way here, I finally found my answer. I believe it's because I had the chance to walk in your shoes. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for our guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason for being. When I'm together with you, I can have that all for myself. I think I get it. I don't, I don't really get it, but I think I get it. Let me put it more plainly. Okay, thank you. I'm rather naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times when I behaved quite strangely. No. However, even I understand the significance of inviting a gentleman into his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love for you to guide me through it. Boldly accept. Thank you. Don't tell Yukari or Chihiro or Fuka. I feel as if I've become an entirely different person compared to when I first set foot in your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. Cool, move in. But I understand that wouldn't be ideal for Nah, that'd be fine. What are you talking about? That is why I am drawing the line. No more visits here. I shall remain on my side. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I am truly grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. Now to the velour room, depressed. Hi, give me a reward for that. Are you accepting a? Let's hear the results. Uh, it seems you completed. <laughs> you alright, Venus? <laughs> One moment, please. Got a hairball? Uh, thank you so much for showing me your room. To show my gratitude for indulging my curiosity, uh, I have something truly special for you. You'll be able to fuse Lucifer, the, the Lord of Hell, whom no mere human could dare reach. His power is unparalleled. Looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, me too, apparently. And apparently, Venus is just coughing up a furball now. Uh, I am willing to stay by side no matter what heights you may reach. I will overcome my ordeal that may stand... Any ordeal that may stand in our way of my goal. That I believe in. This now concludes my last of my requests to explore your world. You have my thanks. No problem. Tyrant's Horn. Uh, you can now summon Lucifer, the Lord of Hell. Cool! <laughs> Alright. That's, uh... It was a pretty good reward for taking a girl to your room, Lucifer. Uh, all right, I guess we're going to hang out with Mitsuru next time. Thank you for watching. I will see you all then. Have a great day. Bye.